At the very least, I have a steel shovel, making this a whole lot easier. I should replenish some of my packed dirt as well. But imagine that. I'm making a, like a dirt quarry. Like there's no special way of mining it. Just mine blocks as fast as possible and you'll be good. Probably easier if you just collapse the dirt like that. Because sometimes the dirt will go into like the same block as some other block. And if it can't like turn back into blocks, it just turns into the items that you can just pick up. Actually, there probably is a special way to do it and I just did it. So if I mine it like this... Maybe it doesn't help if I take damage. Also doesn't help if the blocks glitch out like that. Like, it doesn't get affected by gravity. Oh, we should pick up all of these things as well. Okay, I need to get rid of you. It's crazy, I'm a dirt farmer now. Farming all of this dirt. And then we'll bring this back and we'll make some stone paths. So we should turn this into packed dirt right now. Yeah, that's good enough. Harvest everything now. So I'm not really harvesting in any particular pattern. I'm just going this way. Hopefully try to collapse all the dirt here. I mean, look how much damage I'm taking from dirt farming. Like, I'm almost dead. This is crazy. Uh... You know what, let's just finish off this stack with medium fertility soil, and then we'll go. Oh, we have a wolf? I heard a wolf in this direction. Why don't we go engage him? I mean, I have half health. Like, it's a smart thing to engage a wolf when you're at half health. FYI. Well, not really. I'm just bullshitting you, but it's a smart idea as well. I don't even know where the wolf is. I just heard it in this general direction, so maybe I should just burn the forest. Yeah. I'll teach it to howl without revealing itself. Oh! Traitor! Look at that! I found another traitor accidentally. 
See, if I didn't burn down this forest, I would have never found you. But, let's go visit you. Wait, can I even... Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Look at this! So, I can't even visit the trader. Look at... That is ridiculous. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Yo, get out of here. Trader. Where are you, Wolfie? Yeah, there's a Wolfie here, but... You know what? Maybe we should burn down this area a little bit more. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Or, you know what? I'm gonna burn down... The traitor thing. Okay, so I can't burn it down. Because I need build privileges in order to start the fire here. Oh look, we got some more leaky pine. Would be a real shame if someone burned it down. Look at that. <laughs> so I have no idea what this trader is. Is I can't access him. Like I can somehow managed to open the door, but... I mean, this is just crazy. Like, I can't believe I can't even... I can't even access you. Like, what traitor are you? Wait, can I... Hey, get over here! Dude! I'm over here! I have gears. I have, like, 55 gears. I need you to walk this way. Oh my god. Found another traitor and I can't even access him. This is ridiculous. Oh, can I go through the window? Oh, now he's just laughing at me. So I can't buy stuff from him. Hey, why do you think it's funny? Why is this funny? Don't laugh at me. Oh my god. This fucking guy. Okay, devs. Anego Studios, if you are watching this, this is something you need to fix. Because I can no longer access this trader because this piney branchy leaves is blocking the way. I have no way to access him. Like when you spawn the traders, it needs to clear out like everything. Or oh, wait. Oh! Okay. So if you destroy the block and then walk through it, like the block will respawn, but at least you can access the trader. So, okay. So less priority now because I can still access the trader, but this is the workaround. It's a bug that still needs to be fixed, but I have a worker. Oh! Agricultural trader. Nine gears for cheese. All right. So you take tin bronze knives, business bronze hoe. Business Bronze Scythe. Alright, so I need... Uh, two more hoes, two more scythe. Oh, thank you very much, Grit. Could you, like, prune your area? Or you want... You can burn down. <laughs> I think those are bees. Uh, I... You know what? I'm gonna get out of here. Like... <laughs> this trader is gonna burn down. Yeah, I'm burning down your home. But at least you're easier to access now. So, okay. So it went from a moderate issue that needed to be fixed to a minor issue. The workaround is to destroy the block and then while trying to move through it. And you could also just burn down the trader. This is nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna... I'm gonna make some stone paths. All 
All right, maybe I should start a couple more fires. Hopefully it'll continue burning even though the chunk unloads. Or at least have the fire stay. Like save the fire when the chunk unloads if you are not already doing that. I have no idea if it's still doing that. All right, let's go in. Let's go home. Now, there's a hole over there that I don't feel like going down, so... Don't need to light anything anymore. We'll just let the torches burn out. Perf. All right. Let's go home. Uh, we don't have room for the tin, so that's going to have to continue staying there. Still need to mine out that tin though. I'm going to go back to the trader because it's probably the fastest way to get back home because I do have the path already installed. And again, I do need to finish that path. But it's still like snowy here. So I'm thinking that translocator took us somewhere south. Oh, we got a fire clay deposit here. Didn't realize it. Okay. Go check you again. Look at this, McCree. I got cheese. Woo! And you don't. That's why I'm not buying from you. Wait, how? Okay, less than one day you restock. Alright, so we got a whole bunch of agricultural traders now. And by a whole bunch, I mean like three. See, if I didn't start that forest fire there, in that pristine forest, I would have never found that traitor. So, the moral of the story is, start fires. Alright, let's get back on this path. Head home. Again, I do need to finish this path. Also need to continue making lanterns. Like, you know, it looks like the wind is blowing now. So, why don't I just finish off those copper ingots now? Okay, there's resin. Like, I'm just keeping the resin around here. I don't really care about the resin anywhere else because we already have so much resin. Now, once I'm done with this playthrough, I will be releasing the map as well as the seed for this. So, you can play around with this. Again, it's permadeath. So, don't die. Oh, look at that. It's not all nice and green now. It's still a little bit white over there, but snow has melted. Now, let me check on you again since there's so many animals. Oh, look at how fast they go through the food. That is crazy. Okay, where do I keep the stones? Well, let's get this processed into stone paths now. We got chalk stone here.
I guess we could use our limestone. We're not really using it anymore. So we don't have to mine additional stones. Or I guess we'll save a little bit just in case. Okay, let's just put these back in here for now. And we'll dump the dirt outside. Yeah, the wind is blowing. Let's go do something with that. I'll just dump you here. And I also need to eat the cheese. Yep, two cheeses now. I'll store one in here and then we'll eat some cheese upstairs. Alright, let's light all of these up now. There's my charcoal right here. I'll take the full stack. Wait, is it still going? Okay, so... I guess it's because the chunk unloaded. Oh yeah, the health hammer is going really hard right now. So we will take advantage of that. I guess we can put away our gears here. Probably should use something with the glacier ice as well. So we'll put the basalt gravel here for the time being. Now I'm going to be filling in the pond over there now that the ice is melted. Yeah, this might be a good time to start planting stuff. Like, let's plant the flax. If I can find... It. Yeah, just one thing of flax for the time being. Oh yeah, I also need to feed you. Hang on. Okay, K-crops can be grown here. Just get rid of this. Okay, after this, we put the ingots onto the health hammer, and then I'll feed the animals. It's still probably going to go down to minus something, but this is resistant until minus five, so we're okay. Alright, let's light this up. Go, go, go! And we still have plenty of grains to be feeding them. I still have flour as well. Like, I just have so much food. It could probably last me like an entire another year. If I didn't feed the animals, that is. But, oh, damn. You have, like, nothing. Alright. Do not fuck with me. Okay. I am feeding you. Be nice. I really should be adding more vegetables to their diet. So I'll burn through all of this first. Alright, let's get some vegetables now. Oh, 
let's also process the next one. Because this is going really fast right now. Okay, turnips, we'll do that. This is going to expire in 18.9 days. But that should be enough vegetables. Oh, I didn't bring enough vegetables out, I don't think. Oh well. We'll just do that for the time being. Uh, let you work through that. Alright, keep this going. And I do need to make some more... Bismuth Bronze. So it's two size, two hoes. Same as the other agricultural trader, but I'm also going to throw in a couple of tin bronze knives, which I don't have. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll do four. Maybe we'll do scythe. Just get that out of the way. Gonna have some longer days now. I oh, probably should start planting like uh, the end crops. That's where I put my seeds. I had seeds like all over the place. We just put all of our seeds in here and I guess we'll do rye. Okay, so let's swap out, get the next thing going. Okay, now I also need to work on the beekeeping area because they can start producing more honey again. N is still not good enough. Okay, N is good enough here. So, you know what? I guess I'll plant it here. I mean, we don't really need the food, but... Meh, whatever. Let's just... Let's just get the crops going. I'll do it. Let me just put the seeds away. Keep these going. Gonna light up another one here. Oh, we should start putting the copper things in here now. Okay, so we're gonna do scythe. I didn't want to do the 
copper ingots earlier because it was just going so slow, but this is the speed that I want to be using the hell of hammer at. I mean, just look at that. This is insane. And when I'm using the health hammer, I also want to be smithing other items. Just to be the most productive I can possibly be. Oh yeah, and there's also the tin bronze. I gotta check on that. Now I don't want to make the same mistake as before and put them all into ingots. I want to use the molds because that's what needs to be made. So this is tin bronze. Okay. Pour it into here. Because we're making these tools anyway. I probably sh should check. Can I make like other tools? Like I know you can make the prospecting tool, but like I do need to see what else can be made. Or wait a minute. 1200 mit. You know what? I'm just going to leave this as is. I'm going to leave this here. And, uh, yeah, I really do need to check that. And I completely forgot to fire up the other one. Oh, there goes my production. Let's get another round going. Is why not? I guess I also need to keep this warm. Still need to process all of this. Okay, so we're making another scythe. Okay, still that needs to warm up. I'll do this side first and then we'll check on the ingots. Oh, I also need to eat. Oh no, don't slow down, damn it. Come on. Oh, you're an asshole. Thanks a lot, game. Probably should, like, keep this warm. 